Y'all just make me keep doing this, don't you? Oh, who am I kidding? I do. How's it going, everyone? I'm Astronic Dave, and... That was delayed. Welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. Oh my gosh. I'm trying to keep the hair back here down, but it won't stay down. Oh my gosh. Alright, well... Yeah, we're gonna need that 1200 late. Oh, jeez. I'm kinda happy. One thing I'm happy about is that they... Changed... Like, you don't have to do the motion controls for that, and motion controls for those were sometimes really... amino likey. Alright, time to uh, go into boss number one. The boss, the reason I have this happening. Wait, wait, hold, hold up a sec. Kira him. I think that's your name. <laughs> who am I kidding? That's his name. Look who it is. Yeah, <laughs> you see the resemblance? <laughs> I thought that tornado I stirred up would have tossed and torn you apart. Yet here you are. Not in pieces. Hmm. Not that your life or death has any consequence. It's just the girl that matters now. And I can sense her here. Just beyond this door. Yes. We plucked her majesty from her perch in the clouds, and now she's ours. Oh, but listen to me. I'm being positively uncivil. Allow me to introduce myself. I am the demon lord who presides over this land you look down upon. This world you call the surface. You may call me Girahem. See? <laughs> in truth, I very much prefer to be in Dulged with my full title, Lord Gearham, but I'm not fussy. You want to pick a fight with a demon? Why? Did you really just draw your sword? <laughs> Foolish boy. By all rights, the girl should have fallen into our hands already. Nearly ours when that loathsome servant of the goddess snatched her away. Do you have any idea how that made me feel inside? Oops, I meant to push A, not X. Furious, outraged, sick with anger. <sighs> this turn of events has left me with a strong appetite for bloodshed. Oh, okay, hi. Um, you don't need to be that close. Still, it hardly seems fair being of my position to take all of my anger on you. Which is why I promised to upfront not to murder you. No, I'll just beat you within an inch of your life. Okay. Okay, Thing. Well, I mean, I know his name's Gearham, but he might as well be Thing. Appearance and voice. Much ah! Okay. Yeah. Run to his right and swipe to the right. That becomes so easy to remember after a while. One, two, three. One, two, three. Eh. One, two, three. How many hits does this guy take? Bro. One, two, three, 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 one. I don't even know how many one, two, threes I said. Hi! You got a sword. Ha! Oh, I only got you once. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, dude. No, whoa! Hi! You're, the RNG on you is a really... Why is RNG in this game on my side, but in games that really rely on RNG from way back when? Hi! Those never are on my side. Whoa, whoa, okay. Uh. Stupid freaking. Ha! <laughs> ah, okay. My timing is off on that one. You're really bad at that, you know, Garham? Ha. Ow, okay. I was off the marker there. Hey. Look, honey. Back. Stupid butthole. That's... yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, you put up more of a fight than I thought... I would have thought been possible out of such a soft boy. But don't clap for yourself quite yet. That sword of yours is the only reason you still live. I fear I spent far too long teasing and toying with you. The girl's presence has all but faded from this place, which means there's no reason to linger here. Goodbye, Sky Child. Run and play this time. Get in my way again, though, and you're dead. Okay. Bye, Gearham. Bye, Hell. Oh, jeez. Eh, 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 There we go. Ooh, heart container. Delayed response. Okay. Let's get that. And get out! You got a heart container. No kidding! Your life has increased by one and is also now fully replenished. Yay! Wait, we already have nine? Wow. We've already th completed three containers. Alright, time to go up. Pretty little area this is. Now. So, instead of triggering a lengthy cutscene where you can show him just running across, you decide to do that. Wait, hold on. Was there something on top of the, the, the thing? Up there. <laughs> there it is. Is that a twenty? Oh, that's interesting. All right, fine. I want that. I don't know what that would have done for me since I've already grinded for 1,200 rupees. You got a blessed butterfly. For some reason, we haven't been able to collect those yet. That did me no good. That did me no good. That did me no good. Actually, that probably did me a little bit of good. Hey! I can finally refill my bottle. Bottle, 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 bottle. Huh. Gotcha. Hopefully we don't need the bottle for anything else. Currently. Hmm. 
Goddess Cube up. Good boy. Good Goddess Cube. story. I want side quests. Oh, we'll get side quests. Trust me. The music is quite ominous. Hi, Fee. Master, I have a message written in the language of the gods of old. Allow me to translate for you. From the edge of time, I guide you. The one chosen to carry out the goddess's mission. The spirit maiden who descended from the clouds must travel to two sacred places to purify her body. You stand in one of these places, Skyview Spring. The other is known as the Earth Spring. There are only two places? I thought there were three. This second spring is hidden away deep within the scorched earth of Elden. The spirit made any ever mindful of the heavy task entrusted to her has set out for this second sacred place. It's like the goddesses knew I was going to be here after she left. Large statue of hot well not so big. Not so big statue of Hylia. I got a rock. Do I look like Charlie Brown to you people? You got the ruby tablet. The weathered surface of the heavy stone tablet feels very odd. I got a rock. I don't know how I feel about this. What was with the tilted head, Fee? Never mind. So you jump back into the sword to pop right back out. Master... As I just translated, it would appear that Zelda purified herself in the waters of this spring. I calculate a 97% chance that she has already set out for Elden, where another great spirit exists. However, it is not clear what method of travel Zelda used to move from here to her next destination. My analysis tra suggests you should... Take the tablet to the altar in Skyloft. So you gave me a rock for me to throw it at an altar. Okay. Doing so will likely open a new column of light on the surface, allowing you to descend to another area and continue your search for Zelda. Let's return to the sky once more. Before continuing our search, the bird statue outside can take us back up. Uh. If you give me a rock too, I give up. Hi. Ah, oh, jeez, I gotta do this voice again. Hey, it's me, Queen. Did you find the girl? Uh, where are you? thrown at me. I've already gotten like 12 thrown at me by Gearham and one thrusted at me by random. The statue just spat out of a stone and I don't know how I feel about that. Alright, let's go to this guy. Now we did already get the two goddess um, chests. Now we have to get the third one. Where is the third goddess chest? Huh? Alright then. 
into the lumpy pumpkin it is. We already got the chest there. Or is this guy's chest three? I'm confused. Oh, pfft. Now I'm throwing rocks at me. That, that seriously was not intentional. Huh. Hold up. Hold up. Drop. Ah. Okay, it was a different chest. Okay. Because the one I got before was on the side of the lumpy pumpkin, not on top. I should have waited. Oh, well. Uh, Oh boy. Rise him up. If I get hit by another rock, I'm just gonna be like, okay. Who wants so many pebbles against my face? Nah, you know what? I'm gonna say that right. Who in the world. I swear, if I go into Beetle's shop, which is. Seriously? <laughs> wow. Alright. What kind of butthole decided that it'd be a good idea to throw pebbles at my face and give me some kind of pebble hitting curse? <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's what I'm going through here. Da -da -da. Ah, beetle. You wait right there, buddy. Uh, excuse me. There we go. Alright, cool. Alright, Beetle. Time to give me some dough. Or, the other way around. Time to give you some dough. I wish I could get this. So that's 1,200. This is 1,000. This thing will open up. Yeah, I know what it does. I need it. And that's so. Is there anything else that he? Oh, thank you ever so much. You've given me the strength to keep pedaling. No, get out. You got nothing left. Ow! Fine. Wait, I am curious though. Is that does anything replace it, or is that it? No. Yeah, that's it. Okay. We're getting close to nothing left here. However. Does that mean we're done here in Skyloft? Absolutely not! In fact, we might start here next episode as well. Who knows? Anyway, let's go take care of said tablet, because unfortunately to get any of the side quests, we have to do that first. Ugh. Sheesh. Just not cool, man. All right, let's go, Mia. And no, wait. Well, I know why you're there, but do we have another side quest on our hand that I'm not aware of, or that I forgot was in this specific point in time? This game is a lot like Majora's Mask, where you have to do certain things at certain times instead of whenever. It's kind of annoying. I love how this area is just wide open and available now. Anybody comes in here, they're like, uh, where did this come from? Who put a dent in our... I don't know. Alright, time to get rid of the... Time to add to the collection of stones that people just keep throwing at me. Looks like two, but I swear, there's like 300. Feels like it, at least. It's not just two. I know that for a fact. And... Elden Region. Cool. Master, I have confirmed the location of a second opening in the Cloud Barrier. It is located in the skies to the northeast. Okay. 
This opening will allow you to access a new area on the surface. I suggest you fly there as soon as you complete ne necessary preparations. That's gonna take a while, V. But good advice, I guess. Okay, next. child of God. Oh, Kakil, where did you go? What will I do? She's been kidnapped. Uh, Rhina? Oh, Link. Hi. <laughs> you look a bit down. Can I help? What perfect timing. You've seen my Kukil, haven't you? Uh, Kuki. <laughs> I'm just gonna be a dick. I don't know who anyone is. I'm stupid. Maybe that's why. That's pro. You know what? That's probably why everybody's throwing pebbles at me. I'm just like, who are you? <laughs> My daughter. She's a little five-year-old girl. Please, Link. Won't you help me look for her? I've been looking everywhere, but I can't find her. I actually know where she is. I've asked everyone I could find for help. And a few people have said she's been spotted with some unknown person with a scary face. Someone else even said they thought they'd seen her carried off by a monster. A monster! She must have been kidnapped. She's so cute and friendly. Someone must have just walked off with her. Find Kukil, please. Please. Breaks my heart to think she's somewhere out there crying. Please, Link. Okay. Thank you! The Knight Academy should be proud to have a student like you. Please find my daughter quickly. Uh... No, Link. That's the dumb thing about, like, using this to look around. I let go of the button, man. And sometimes I even push the button and it still registers it as the sword. I'm like, uh, seriously? <laughs> I mean, it's not that big a deal, but... At the same time, that's a plug that needs fixing. Bop, since I'm already here. Hey! Bop! So the plants don't throw pebbles at me, but people do. <sighs> well then. I know for a fact that there's one specific location I need to go to. We're going back to the Lumpy Pumpkin. Yeah, I forgot about this. I completely 100% forgot that, <laughs> that this side quest, you actually do gotta go to the Lumpy Pumpkin, and uh, no, you don't. Yes, you do. Hold up, I'm confuzzled. Bird, please don't run into a rock again. I'm not meaning to do this. I think it is the Lumpy Pumpkin, but I'm not sure. If it's not in here, then it's definitely the Lumpy Pumpkin. There's a person we gotta talk to. No, yeah, it's 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 the Lumpy Pumpkin. That's what I thought. Holy crap. I don't remember anything. My brain is just like... Pfft. Someone hears me do that, like... Hey! It's like the 4,000th rock I've been thrown at today! You know what, that's worse than rock being, rocks being thrown at me. Me being thrown at the rocks? Uh, yeah, that's worse. Uh, <laughs> actually, can I can I have the rock, the pebbles being thrown at me back? Um, I'd rather not get thrusted against a rock. That doesn't sound pleasant at all. That sounds the uh, whatever the opposite of pleasant is. Uh, that sounds deadly, actually. We go back to just having, you know. Oh, what did I just say, little birdie? What did I just say? Alright, and. Remove that. R remove it. Thanks. Alright, the person should be in here. Let's find out.
Yep, there it is. Hiya. Ooh. You have the, that gullible look that says you might take an old man's rambling seriously. So tell me, do you believe in the Skyloft monster? Shouldn't even call it a monster. It's a demon, I tell ya. But no one can say for sure. Because no one's seen it and lived to tell the tale. Well, huh? You wanna know how come I'm telling the tale if nobody who's seen it is left alive? Is that it? Yeah, sure. Yeah, well, I saw it. But as I was able to escape by the seat of my pants, I was saved by my cat-like reflexes, I tell ya. You darn rascals ain't got none of that. Any regular person wouldn't have lived long enough to scream. Anyway, I saw the thing, I tell ya. There's a great big tree in the cemetery. I walked by that tree in the middle of the night and I saw it hit the gravestone nearest the tree. And the gravestone lit up. It pushed the gravestone and the door to the storage shed opened up all by itself. The monster then went into the shed and then it closed the door behind it, which was unexpectedly polite for a demon. I don't even know where I'm going with this voice. It was the most terrifying thing these old eyes have ever seen. You're smart. How is that terrifying? How in the world is that terrifying? So, go to the cemetery in the middle of the night? Whoa. Cool. What's wrong? I'm still thinking about what I need you to work on next. Why? Because you still need to pay off that fancy chandelier. Well, are you going to add to our profits and buy some pumpkin soup? No. I see. Well, I guess you'll just have to work off the cost of that chandelier. Give me some time and some back. And come back and see me. About that. You'd have to do the same amount of work anyway. You can't sneak that into me, Nintendo. You can't rip me off and think that I'm going to... No. No. Ow! Hey. Who threw that pebble at me? Alright, time to go to the cemetery. In the middle of the night. Where spoopy things happen. <laughs> Nose dive. And. <laughs> Pink fox alert. Hi. And nose dive. People have been throwing pebbles at me, and I don't like it. Well, maybe the pebbles don't like you. The people don't like me. The pebbles aren't throwing themselves. Yeah, they are. Hey, hey think. How? And how would you know? Are you, are you, are you the one who threw the pebbles? No. <sighs> well, somebody must be doing it. I, I highly, oh. I don't know anymore. <laughs> Hello, item check people. Or, you know, empty house, that works too. Uh, until night, please. Well, this is the first time I've done one of these videos with the door wide open. <laughs> Let's see. What am I doing? Just roaming around somebody's home. They're like, oh, he's here. Well, he better get out, otherwise he's getting a pebble up his butt. I already got a bunch of them in my ear, thanks. Actually. Come here. Come here. That's not what I wanted. I wonder if those things are programmed to not. Bad kitty. Bad. Bad. Or whatever the heck that thing is. A muskrat? I actually have no idea. No, it's nothing IRL. <laughs> I'm just gonna. 
that's what I thought. Open sesame. <sighs> Time to go talk to a demon. Apparently. According to everybody else on this. Just drop. If I remember correctly, it doesn't hurt this time. That's something I'm glad they fixed, because on the Wii version, that hurt. That would hurt. Okay, then. Hello. I'm coming. Hello. Demon guy going cross-eyed or something? Hi. I will fight. Uh, hold on. Hi. Hey, what's wrong? Why do you look so scared? Did something happen to you? Stop, please, I beg of you, don't hurt me. Oh, goodness. I know how bad this must look to you right now, but I assure you I mean no harm. You're just playing the scream as loud as you can, Cape. Why? Why? Isn't that a fun game? Oh dear. Perhaps an explanation is in order. My name is... How do you say that? Batru? B-A-T-R-E-A-U. Can I just call you Fred? Can we just stick with an easier name? Ow! Okay, fine. I don't have to chuck rocks at my face. I don't have enough people doing that anyway. I am a monster who resides... Uh, fine. I'll just call you B. Cause I don't, or Bat. Is Bat good? Can I just call you Bat? Okay. Yeah, okay. Good. Uh, and I am a monster who resides in this humble dwelling below Skyloft. But please allow me to correct one popular misconception. While I'm certainly a monster, I wouldn't dream of terrorizing the people of this town. You see, this adorable little girl is the only one who didn't let loose a blood-curdling scream at the sight of me. Since she began to visit me here, I felt positively jubilant. You see, my heart's only wish is to become friends with the lovely people in Skyloft. But as you can surely imagine, it has proven quite difficult to break the ice when they are struck with per. I was about to say paralysis. That technically works. But. Struck with paralyzing fear at the mere sight of me. Uh, you're not that scary looking, dude. I assure you, nothing would fill my heart with joy more than to be friends with the fine people of this town. But as soon as I try to approach any of them and extend my claw in friendship, they run and scream as though they've seen a walking nightmare. I mean, you do you do kind of look like a gargoyle, dude. <laughs> oh, right. Silly me. I've gotten ahead of myself. You see, there is an old tale among my monstrous kin that goes as follows. It seems that when humans make other humans happy, they ha happy humans... Are you trying to tongue twist me? Ah, what the, what the, would you stop throwing pebbles at me? <sighs> the happy humans produce a substance known as a gratitude crystal. Gratitude crystals are quite amazing. Just looking at them and knowing there was such gratitude in the world could turn me from a monster into a human. Yeah, maybe 80 of them. <laughs> oh goodness. Nothing would delight me more than to become a human. But the moment I laid my regrettably demonic eyes on you, I could tell you had a gentle and generous heart. I probably would have killed you already if I didn't. Won't you please gather gratitude crystals and show them to me? Sure. <laughs> Truly? You'll help me? I've heard that you can obtain pure gratitude crystals by helping people solve their troubles. Actually, you earn five from each of that. They could also be merely lying about here in Skyloft, or yeah, there's like 15 of them that are just sitting out and about. Among the clouds, anywhere you find people. I'm sure someone with a heart as pure and genuine as yours will be able to see them. Please, solve some troubles and gather me all the gratitude crystals you can find. Okay, that's pretty much the rest of this episode right there. 
Any help you can provide will be dearly appreciated. I promise your assistance will go not go unrewarded. Cool. Let's go get gratitude crystals. Because <laughs> it's going to be so... Well, I don't know. For 100 percent in this game, that can be very beneficial. Emphasis on can be. Someone's getting tired. <laughs> I'm going to have a sleeping pink fox on my side while I'm finishing this up, so... <laughs> Hello, Green Glob. Die. Die. Okay. First things first, let's get all the gratitude crystals on this island. My question is, I don't. My, my thing is, I don't remember where all of them are. I think there's one. Yeah, right there. That's one down, 79 to go. <laughs> one. This is kind of one of those things where you kind of just have to deep hunt the entirety of the area to know exactly where everything is. Otherwise, well, who would be stupid enough to not do that in a Zelda game? Let's see. No. Are you seriously trying to... No, die. You gave me nothing for that. Great. Cool. That's not what I needed. There should be one... Right there. Two. The first time I played through this, I actually did miss the next one I'm grabbing at a point. Well, actually, not this one, but the one after. I think this is the right one. Oriole and... Yeah. Oriole and Paro. I believe it's in the back right of the room. Front right. Whatever. Same difference. It's next to the window. Phew. <sighs> This is the one that I keep spacing out. Um, well, I feel a little bit um, overwhelmed by all these... All this paparazzi. Right here. Seriously, guys, let me actually get this crystal, dang it. Down there. Okay, that one... That one makes sense. Why that one would hurt. That one at least makes sense. Four gratitude crystals. Kind of sad how you can only get these at night. With this one, I do have a list up, but I'm not using it because I want to do how many I can actually remember. There's one back over here. There you are. Da, 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 da. That's five. Technically, we could go back to Beatro. Or Bat. We could go back to Bat and see if he'll give us something for it, which he would. But first, let's see what else we can gather. I do remember there one being... The thing I don't like is you have to walk all the way to get this next one. I don't think there's one in the cave, though. Alright, you know what? Boop. Okay, down here. No pebble throwers, I hope. Oh, for the love. No, but they're very grabby, that's... Yeah, just... Hello? Did it... Was there, like, a keys up there or something? Bat, are these your friends? 
trying to help you, not hurt you. Please stop. Nope. Apparently that ain't happening. Actually, I think there are two down here. Yep. One. And... Over here. How am I remembering all these? I think... There's only one more I can recall. Two. Two more. They're both in... Um, the Academy. But I think that's it. I think I can only gather that many. <laughs> How many do I have? Six? Seven. Can I only collect nine? I feel like my brain is missing one. Like, I I've forgotten about one. Oh! I know which one. Yeah, you can collect ten. Technically, you can collect eleven, but I'll get that one later. Especially since once I turn it today, it ain't coming back tonight for a while. Until we have, like, other stuff to do. I don't know, I might get it next time, though. Next time's gonna be kind of side questy as well. Hey, no- Ow! Rude! Sheesh. Did you just- Bad, is this like a normal fear of people? Do you like spitting pebbles out at others or something? I already have the humans spitting them out. I don't need these people all doing it, too. Don't follow me! That's just creepy. Bad. Bad kitty. Bad. Kitty raccoon thing. I still don't know what those are. Nope. Well, glad this stay. I don't remember which door is the one that is stays unlocked. This one, perhaps. Yes. Good. Good. Cause. There's a gratitude crystal right next to this. Hiya. Nine. Eight. I knew that. Where's Link's room? That's... It's downstairs. Because upstairs is all the girls and professors. Which means down here... Somewhere... Is Link's room. Right here. That's right, I'm gathering the pebbles so you buttholes can't throw any more pebbles at me. <sighs> we have one more we can collect and then... That wasn't the pebble I was talking about. Because I believe the other five... Well, there's one more after this one, but... I'd have to make it day, and then night again, then day again, so we can actually do stuff. Right. Ah, uh, like you just have to walk slower, don't you? Hey, Headmaster Kapora, do you have one? <laughs> nope. Okay. All right then. Cool. Um, where am I going? I need to go this way. In there. Just wanted to have that prepped. <laughs> I didn't need to, but you know. This is one of those ones where if you don't have a guide, it's very easy to miss unless you're deep. Ow. And there you go. Ten gratitude crystals. Let's go talk to Bat and see if we can get our reward for that. 
Okay. Okay. Hey, Batrul. I think that's how you're supposed to say that name, but I have no idea at this point. Neither do I really want to try to figure it out. Bad kitties. Stop it. And call all of you out on your ball. Not let go. Okay, Bat, I've got your gratitude crystals. Firstly, and secondly, kid, you need to go home. Hey. Hi. He's not a bad man. He served me one time. When I almost fell, he saved me one time when I almost fell over the edge. And he lets me come here and scream as loud as I want. Anyway, he said it was dangerous to go out alone at night, so I'll just hang out here for a while. Tell Mom I'll come home in the morning. Hi. Oh, you've gathered quite a lot of gratitude crystals, haven't you? How magnificent! Please take this as a token of my demons, at uh, this demon's deepest appreciation. That'll be helpful. Still going to need more gratitude, Chris, to become a human. Please, won't you aid an unfortunate demon? Oh, gracious me. That is a prodigious quantity of gratitude. Okay, apparently I've already helped you. This is such an appallingly insufficient reward that my cheeks burn hot with embarrassment, but please take this. I'll take it. Still going to need more to become a human, blah, blah, blah. Nice. For doing all those, we got a heart piece. And we got a uh, wallet that lets me carry how many? If I can do this properly. 1,400. Crap. <laughs> Probably won't be able to get that heart piece I'm I was looking at for a while. Can't get the other metal, though. As much as I don't want to. I don't like that thing. I don't care much for the bugs in this game. It doesn't really benefit you at all unless you're doing one specific side quest way later on. <laughs> Either way, let's go make it daytime. I'm just gonna barge into the item check girl's house again. You know, that's normal. Apparently. Till morning. And... There's still quite a few things we can get done. So... I'll save for that for later. Let's exit. And... I'm gonna leave this here. So... As long as more people don't start throwing pebbles at me again, I'm getting sick and tired of all that bullcrap. Anybody around? Anybody able to do that? Hide from the kid. Okay, I think we're good. I think we're in the clear. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button, and so far you can't see it anymore. And if you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Have a suggestion for a uh, Zelda game you'd like to see on here? Let me know in the comments below. Want to check out one that's been done prior to this? Uh, click the link across my head here, trying to take you to that destination. Or if you missed any of the steps on this ride, try to be in the top right hand corner and the, it'll the train take you to the desk stops in the top right hand corner. Click that and it'll take you there. In the meantime though, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye!